What's up everybody, Dr. Mike here. I'm incredibly excited to announce that this week's video is officially all natural. Check this out. Impressive, right? And you know what that means? No, you don't. I don't either. It doesn't mean anything. This week, I'm gonna be talking about misleading food labels and my top 10 tips on how to be a more educated consumer. Number 10. Don't buy into the meaningless phrases. All natural foods can still contain chemicals. Even the FDA website doesn't have a formal definition of all natural. Plus, even if something is fully all natural, it still doesn't mean it's healthy. Your energy drink could contain more caffeine than you think, and that's courtesy of the guarana bean, which contains two to three times more caffeine than the coffee bean. And energy drink companies don't have to add that to the caffeine content on the can because it's part of their proprietary blend. You see low fat on nutrition label and you automatically assume it must be healthy. First of all, you shouldn't be so scared of dietary fat. And second of all, most of these companies just jack up the sugar content to make up for the lost taste. Not so healthy, right? Your bacon says no added nitrates. It must be preservative free, not so fast. If it contains something like celery root powder, that's just another form of added nitrates. That's how they get you. Your food tastes really sweet, but the label says zero grams of sugar. How's that possible? Well, it's likely that you're ingesting artificial sweeteners like aspartame. And while we don't have absolute evidence that it's bad for your health, what we do know now is it does change your brain chemistry and make you crave more unhealthy foods throughout the day. You're halfway there to the number one point that will make you an educated consumer. Zero grams of sugar added. It's a great thing, but you still need to check the nutrition facts for the naturally occurring sugar. For example, if you have a cup of orange juice in the morning made up of four oranges, that's 36 grams of sugar. Same as a Coke. But guess what? The label will still say zero grams of added sugar. Don't fall for these unsubstantiated health claims you often find on food packaging. It boosts your immunity. It helps your skin stay radiant. Most of these health claims are often vague or exaggerated. In fact, the Journal of Nutrition, Education, and Behavior found that these claims appeared mostly on foods high in saturated fats, sugars, or sodium. Just stick to the nutrition facts and the ingredient list. Also, be skeptical when the packaging touts a single ingredient. Usually, that's just a sleight of hand move to distract you from the other unhealthy ingredients found elsewhere. Whole wheat cereals, whole wheat bars, whole wheat bread. You think you're getting a true whole wheat product? Not so fast. You have to look at the first ingredient in the ingredient section, which is the most abundant one, and it has to have the word whole in order for it to be made predominantly of whole wheat. Number two, dos. Va. Light. That sounds like a great quality for your food to have. Light means low in fat, low in calories, right? Not necessarily. If a food tastes light, if it's light in color, it can still carry the light label. So don't get too excited when you see light in the title of your food. The number one tip, yes, the number one tip to make you an educated food consumer, look at the serving size. I've made this mistake so many times. I've gotten a container of soup and I said, oh, it has slightly more sodium than I thought. And then I ate it. And then I realized the serving size was a quarter of the container. So that means I had four times the amount of sodium I initially had. Now look, you get an ice cream container and it says 120 calories per half a cup. How many half a cups are in your bowl of ice cream? The FDA is even catching on to this one. If the entire container is likely to be eaten in one sitting, the companies will be obligated to put the entire container as a serving size. So there you have it. You are now an educated food consumer. Please don't stress about your food choices because stress is a true killer. Be smart, educate yourself, know what you put in your body, and stay healthy. Thanks for watching. Seven, your bacon. <laughs> Well, guess what? Why do I keep saying, well, guess what? Number nine. Why am I doing six? <laughs>